I work a lot with senior leaders at the yeah. moment and it's only recently. So several of the leaders I've been working for have been going for big promotions and it was through speaking to them that I realized how I approached interviews was not necessarily how they approached interviews. Yes, yes. It's only through, through those coaching relationships recently where I'm like, ah, okay. And I've shared this approach. I got great feedback on it. So I thought, what? Well, yeah, why don't we share it? Absolutely. Uh, First step, why do you want this job? I would always say whenever I've gone for those internal jobs, the first thing that I've thought about when a new job has come out and I've looked at it is, does it excite me? Yeah. Does it immediately spark me thinking, oh, if I could do that job, this is what I'd do. Particularly with internal roles, you understand often about these roles. You're probably working in that team or you're working closely with that team. I guess the bigger companies you might not. I think a lot of people focus on what's it gonna pay me and what's the job title gonna be. I would call these extrinsic benefits. What's in it for me? As opposed to the intrinsic benefits. What is it about this job that really is gonna fulfill me and excite me? And, and the thing is, when you go in with that level, and we were talking about this earlier, yeah. when you go in with that level of excitement and motivation, it shines through when people interview you. They're really really can tell the difference between somebody who cares and is excited, between somebody who wants the job, but they want it because it's gonna give them more money. Don't focus on what the job is going to give you, focus on how the job is going to excite you.